Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you guys today out of the Raiders playbook. I've been doing a lot of Raiders stuff lately for my Raiders followers. Uh, they've been doing pretty good, so if you want me to continue, as always, hit the like button because I always have more stuff. I asked you a couple days ago if you want to see an iForm close scheme out of this, and you guys killed the like button for that. I'll put uh, links in the description for some of the Raiders uh, stuff that I've been putting out. The empty tray stack scheme especially is is super glitchy, so make sure to check out in the, con in the uh, description. Uh, if you guys want to see more Raiders stuff, I always have a Raiders playlist as well. If you guys want to see uh, nothing but Raiders plays, I got playlists for every single team. Uh, but other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. The I form close here um, is definitely one of the better better schemes, one of the better running and passing schemes in this particular playbook. I could also do a strong close scheme very easily. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. But let's start off with some of the run plays out of the I form close. I'm going to do at least three run plays and then I'll try to do at least one or two pass plays. I'll probably have a lot left over uh, from my Patreon. But if you want to see the full scheme as well on here, I'm thinking the day after Christmas or uh, maybe Chris, the day before Christmas because I'm going to try to take a little time off with the family. I'm thinking of putting out a full scheme uh, of something that uh, was you know, straight from my Patreon or straight from my, my Join Now community. Um, so if you guys have any ideas what you'd like that to be, what playbook you'd like that to be from, let me know in the comment section. Either Raiders or Saints is what I'm thinking. Uh, but we'll start off. We're going to put our, our audibles together here. Um, the halfback stretch is definitely going to be one of them. The lead dives, one of them. Uh, the power O is probably my favorite. And then last but not least would be the toss. So we have four really good run plays here. Uh, we'll start off with these, and then, like I said, we'll come on the backside uh, with some uh, with some good uh, some good pass plays. So let's go ahead and let's pick uh, the last play I pick. I guess I'll pick the 94 will. It's a pretty unique play. And then on the defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3. Now before I get into my video, as always, this video was brought to you by my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. If you're trying to get your mutt team up with all these promos dropping, make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. And make sure to use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order now as far as the plays go here um there's really not a ton of reads the toss and the stretch are very similar uh, i would say the toss i mean the stretch play is the most consistent even after the patch where they said that they tried to uh nerf the stretch a little bit i mean it's still a very consistent run play now as far as reads go it's pretty easy i mean you can run the stretch or the toss um, I would say the best way to choose the stretch is it's really just if you're looking at, you know, do I have outside blocking containment like right here? I don't really have that with that box safety on the right side. So that would be a scenario where I'd probably want to run a toss. If you need your lead blocker, if you have, if you want to run a direction where there's a defender that's too far out, the toss would be the way to go. And then you would try to, you know, as these blockers pull, a lot of times they'll get out in front of those guys. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's probably the best way to choose between the toss and the stretch. So that's pretty much the read. Here's another scenario. Like I said, I'd probably try for the power O because there's just anytime it's really, you want a, a wide alignment for the power O, but you can see, I mean, there's so many different ways that the power O can get space and it's just simply flipping the play with the right stick. Aside from flipping the right stick, there really isn't a lot of things you can do to get an advantage with this formation aside from, a, you know, motioning across a receiver or something like that. But if it's a man coverage, you can see how that basically creates no advantage at all. If it's a zone, it will create an advantage. If it's a man, it won't. But if it's a man coverage, you could always uh, leave it like it is and then motion this guy across and now you're taking away the edge defender, which can be helpful. So a play like the toss here, the only real concern is you still have that guy, um, you know, that, that cover three safety, but you can see how you can get some nice chop blocks and it can really open things up. So it's just remember that. So just going over these reads one more time before I move on to the pass plays. Uh, it's really simple. When it comes to a stretch play, if you have a blocker, you're, you're, you're either a tight end or an offensive tackle that's wider than their defensive ends or their linebackers essentially in the box. Um, you can run the stretch. Here, I don't really have that for neither. If you want to run a play where there isn't an advantage like that, uh, there is a box defender wider than your furthest box blocker. You have to go with the toss. So on a play like this, you can run the toss. You just need that those, those linemen to pull out and get in front of the play. So that's how you would choose between those two. The power O and the, uh, the dive, which is what I'm running... Uh, 
you know base right now which essentially would be i guess this one here this is you're just looking for gaps when it comes to this particular type of run play so here i'm looking for this would be a scenario where i probably would run the dive just because there's a huge hole in the middle and then when it comes to the power if i have a hole between which i don't hear but if i have a, a hole between um you know the 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 basically the defensive tackle and the uh, the guard in the uh, defensive end that's when I would run uh, this flipped so I'm gonna run this one more time because I never actually ran the lead but if I if I have a scenario where there's a hole in the center this is probably your best scenario just to take a quick five now I usually do like one play touchdowns and stuff like that I'm gonna focus on more um, hard to stop routes and uh, hard to stop concepts out of this and I'll probably leave my one play touchdowns uh, for my patreon and for my join now community uh, but ultimately, there's a lot of really good plays, especially against man coverage this year, um, that I think people would probably appreciate more in a video like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Y post. This is a very good man-beating concept. There's a couple of different plays that have the route that I'm going to show you. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we're going to pick uh, matching. We'll just go with the 3-4. Uh, cover two, cover one, it really doesn't matter. It's all the same. So this play right here, I mean, this is going to be good against a couple different things. But this X route here... Um, it's a really good man-beating route. It's a speed-out route. It's something that I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of people run online. But people really should be because it's a really, um, if, especially if you throw it in the break, it's one of the better, one of the quicker man-beaters. If you have somebody hitting you with, like, man blitzes and stuff like that, this route will really um, do a good job on it. You can see right there. I mean, it's really, it's just all you really need is is leverage. I mean, if you have, if the cornerback's in a little bit far, it's going to be even easier. But if it's even, it's going to work as well, as you can see right here. I mean, it's really just a timing throw. It's super simple. It's super easy. And it's something that, like I said, I, I just don't see enough online. Uh, and when people are running man as much as they are this year, um, this is something that you really should have in your back pocket. There is a good uh, cover two zone concept here if you just streak the A route. The B route um, does a pretty good job of uh, getting outside of this coverage, although I don't know why I got a bad throw there. I guess it was an, uh, might have been a little bit pressure related. Uh, but all you have to do is streak that B route in this, or streak that A route, I mean, in the, in the B route, once he gets past the cornerback, is a really good play. So you definitely have a really good cover two zone beater. You can also motion this receiver out, but it's not really necessary. You can see how it has success um, just right where he is. Uh, but, I mean, this is really, it's super simple too. I mean, I know Henry Ruggs is probably making it look a little bit easier because of his speed, but pretty much any receiver would be going in this scenario. That speed out route is littered throughout this formation. You can see it's on the wide receiver out there's the uh the double outs which was like a super glitchy play back in like man 15 or 16 nobody could stop that um there you have it on both sides so if you have a, a user that's trying to take away one side say that you're getting they're getting beat with that route over and over and over you would have you know route on both sides which is helpful uh, but you can find that throughout the formation I, I like the Y post because it also has the the cover two option on the one side which is important and even that cover two option you have you see you have the out and up has the same option pretty much um, anything where you have that route uh, doing that is pretty much going to work out so the next play I'm going to do I guess I'll focus I guess the last play I'll focus on we'll do another one play touchdown uh, the PA tight end leak this is going to be something that uh, is probably a little bit better against cover three and cover four we already gave a really good cover two play so i might as well move on with that uh we'll go ahead and we'll start off with cover three so there's a couple of different things you can do to make this a one play touchdown against cover three if you're trying not to do too much motion all you really have to do is put the b route on the streak and smart route the a route and that's going to shorten that route to the point where the cornerback's going to bite down on it uh, and it's going to be a really easy one play touchdown now there i got a really bad throwing animation uh based off of pressure i guess i had pressure in my face um you can block the fullback to basically alleviate that but all you really have to do like i said streak the b route and put the a route on a smart route that's going to be the easiest way to get this done then you're kind of just waiting for this cornerback outside here to react to that tight end i'll go to the replay real quick to watch for that all you're really doing is you're watching this guy the second that he uh you know slows down and flips his hips it's it's game over it's going to be an easy touchdown um he, you don't have to really wait that far the second he just starts to react to the tight end is all you're really waiting for and then you just bullet pass leading outside but the most important thing is the smart route you have to know where you are on the field if you're like first and 10 like practice mode is based on first and 10 the smart route will shorten first and 10 second and eight third and six anything like that shorter than 10 yards this smart route will shorten and make the play effective if it's like second and 15 or you know second and 20 third and 20 whatever the smart route will go longer and it won't work so that's the only thing that really you need to know about this particular play is where you are on the uh on the field what's the down and distance against cover four drop show two we have something that works out pretty good as well we just have to motion out williams here put the a route on a smart route this time 
And this is pretty much going to be all that we have to worry about. We just have to basically buy time. And you can see how this X route will get right through uh, the safety combination for an easy one play touchdown on the other side of cover four. I find the best way to run it if you really want to get that one play touchdown as easy as possible is putting the B route on a smoke. Uh, that would be the 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 you know the best way to pull down the strong safety because he's the only player that really has a shot on this X route as it crosses the field. Um, and if he's pulled down like that, you can see he's really just sitting on his hands, uh, which is going to make it even easier. It'll, it'll give him even less competition or less opportunity to contest. But that's really up to you because then you don't really have as good of a check down as you do right now. Like the B route right now is definitely a, a shorter check down. You can always put him on like a slant or something like that. The shorter the route, the better. That's pretty much the best way I can say it. Like here, I, I put him on a slant. You can see that safety's kind of in the area. Kind of messes up the play. So to me, if you're really going for the one play touchdown, the smoke route is really the best thing to do. So I'm going to end the video there. The rest of the stuff I'll put on my Patreon or on my Join Now community. So if you want to see the rest of these plays, make sure to check that out. Link in the description below or hit the join button. Uh, and other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.